right, uh, closer to home here. Early voting for the mayoral election happens Thursday in the city. It opens up on Thursday. It's leading up to the election on Monday, June the 26th. And I'm a sucker for poll numbers. Mm -hmm. You sucker for poll numbers? I, it's, they're very interesting to me just to get a pulse on what's going on. All right, you want some poll numbers? Here you go. go. <laughs> Olivia Chow uh, continues to lead and is seeing her lead grow with three weeks to go before the election. This is a new form research poll. 38%. That is nothing to sneeze at. Everyone else is uh, got not enough right now. And 19% are still undecided. That is, uh, that's a number actually worth noting. Election Monday, June the 26th. This is roughly about 1,000 people. Um, the, the size of that lead, Tammy, listen, I've, I've, I've watched a lot of the debates. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many people in Toronto have. I know you have. I have not seen a candidate in Olivia Chow that has blown me away. I have to be perfectly honest. I've seen someone who's very, very uh, consistent in their values and their beliefs, as Olivia Chow always has been in her political career. But I'm not, see I'm not seeing the separation when you get the candidates together that you're seeing in those polling numbers. What am I missing here, Tam? Uh, well, I don't know. In this case, you have to look at not just the poll from today, yesterday, the poll from the very beginning, as soon as this race kicked off, it's been very consistent. Olivia Chow up front by a, a wide margin. And it's been Josh Matlow, Mark Saunders kind of fighting for second. The one thing that has been a surprise over the last little while, last few weeks, Anthony Fury. Like, he has come up the ranks now. He is, according to that poll, as ahead of Mitzi Hunter, ahead of Anna Bailau, ahead of Brad Bradford, like completely leapfrogged. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens in the next few weeks, not few weeks, three weeks, yeah. less than three weeks now that we have up until June 26 to see uh, how these polls will play out closer to. Uh, I, that was a surprise to me, the fact that those candidates, the six that we have been talking about very widely because they've been the top and the leading polling candidates, and now we have somebody else who has entered the chat, as the kids say. So, yeah, there we go. Olivia Chow would certainly shake things up at City Hall, shake things up in terms of the relationship with Premier Doug Ford. There'd be a lot of change with this one, but uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not convinced that's, I have to be honest, I don't think that's the discrepancy. I think that, that's a wild number to me, considering how few debates we've had and how short this election process has been. We'll see how it plays out. Again, early voting starts Thursday in the city of Toronto. Vote. It's good for you.